For you, doctor, from your assessment as an economist who has really served in various government as well respected in the country, what are the key issues that need to be addressed in this regard that will restore confidence and attract foreign direct investments, which is very key to having liquidity? It is true that uh, the path of the Nigerian sky, where the clouds are thickest, is the foreign exchange market. Um, yes, we commend the unification of the exchange rate of the Naira, because there's no point creating multiple markets. Um, it has benefited the government that uh, the narrow narrowing of the gap between the official and the prime market means that uh, the leakage of government revenue through exchange rate subsidy has ended. And we're beginning to see the impact on government revenue. Um, and that's what you've advocated over time, doctor, blocking those leakages. Yeah, so it was a consensus in yeah. the build up to the election. Mm. Every candidate, you know, pledged <laughs> to block it. And I'm happy that uh, President uh, Bola Ahmed Tinubu leaped up to his words and has blocked that foreign exchange leakage. Um, since we unified, we can count the gains in revenue, but there is a huge cost, you know, that still needs to be addressed. Uh, the increased volatility yeah. of the exchange rate, especially in the official market. Um, it has become very volatile. It could be a thousand to a dollar today yeah. and jump back to 800 to a dollar and then jump back to 1050 to a dollar that level of volatility uh, is a deterrent to business decisions uh, when you can't see the cloud clearly then you probably will not take off. Flights are not going to take off. So they are likely to delay investment outlays. Mm -hmm. And so, and the volatility of the exchange rate spills over. It passes through into domestic consumer prices. And we've seen inflation mm -hmm. at 28%, approaching yeah. 30 mm -hmm. And food uh, inflation is over 31%, 32%. Is it? Food inflation is also uh -huh. such, yeah. So, such volatility in exchange rates, you know, aggravates the inflationary situation, uh, perpetuates food and energy price shocks that erode both consumer living standards and business profitability. So it's not so it's no surprise that some uh, businesses that had been operating in Nigeria for quite a while are taking the decision to exit. Mm -hmm. So key question for the outlook in 2024 is how soon can we put an end to that volatility of the exchange rate? Which is very important for sustainability of, of businesses. Yeah, people express concerns about growth. You won't have growth with that kind of volatility. And you won't have inflation come down with that volatility. So for you to be in a position to start seriously talking about growth, you need to calm that foreign exchange market. And there are no shortcuts here. You know, you've mentioned uh, backlogs. Yeah in the country's commitment. You said CBN, yeah. but CBN is acting, you know, as an agent of the government, commitment to banks on the forward forex contracts, which have 
fallen deal, but the central bank or government of Nigeria has been unable uh, to do the needful to meet their commitments. Uh, such backlogs represent significant supply shortfalls that underpins the volatility. So there's no conversation about stabilizing the exchange rate that doesn't sit on the head of that. How soon can the Nigerian government find foreign exchange liquidity to stabilize the market? And it also seems, you know, from the, the budgetary, actual budget performance in MTF and in the proposed budget, that we might be in areas of uh, interest payment obligations on foreign debt. Um, we've paid about twice what we plan to pay on ways and means. We've been on target on what we plan to pay on domestic debt. Uh, but it seems that we are in areas. Uh, There's a significant percentage of what's due on foreign, what was budgeted on foreign debt, on external debt is some paid. So it's not just backlogs in obligations to domestic banks, but there are backlogs, you know, on obligations to external creditors as well. And all of that will make it difficult for our sovereign issuer risk rating to be upgraded. We've been downgraded to a few notches above the default zone. And so we need to find answers. We should have found these answers um, before we unified the exchange rate. So that we should have taken that step first before we you should have, interest. you know, taken desperate measures to get reserves. Yeah. And we didn't at the time. And that's cost us all the volatility we've seen, cost us the deterioration in inflation that we've seen and must have accounted for, you know, uh, growth uh, turning out less than had been anticipated. So can we now do something about it? You know, we have seen flashes, you know, of investors being eager to invest in Nigeria. What Across do you various make of countries, more yeah. than fourteen billion in pledges from India, from India, mm. and similar pledges. Uh, well, we don't, we are not sure what the amounts are. Mm. Yeah, from Germany, you know, from UAE, from Saudi Arabia. Question: When will those monies? That's, ar- that's the big question. Arrive. Yes. Then we do not have to wait for individual invest in individual countries to be making pledges to us. We now know that investors are keen on Nigeria. Why do we not look at the assets that offer the best investment opportunities? you know, for foreign investors, since we are looking for forex liquidity, and put them together in a short list. Are we talking two? Are we talking 10? Are we talking 20? Which is how countries that do get foreign direct investment engage with foreign direct investors. It starts with the fundable projects. You know, we are the Kakaza, they are the vulture with Kada. So bring forth the Kakas. Then instead of, you know, chasing butterflies, which is like when you want to travel to their country, create a garden and butterflies will chase you. We come to your garden. Are we together? So that's the critical conversation. We, we, we have, we've had, you know, for decades, the privatization program. Mm. More recently, we are talking about MOFI. MOFI, which I'm um, going to come to that. MOFI is mm. said to have captured some assets worth 18 trillion naira in February this year, which the then president charged them to enhance the value to 100 trillion. What are those assets? 
And so when we will begin to attract investors' interest into them, you know, uh, do we need to wait from February 1 to December before we will announce that the first deal has been originated or that the first deal has been consummated? So we need to get into the deal-making mode. Because unless the deals come on the table, the investment will not arrive. Thank you.